Hello, and thank you for choosing Citywide RV. We've put together the following presentation to help familiarize you with the features of your rental unit. Please take a moment to watch the film, and remember that you can always come back and review these videos if you need to refresh your memory. Thanks, and have a great vacation. So to hook up 110 to the unit, you just simply take this cord. I don't even know what to call it. There's a 90 degree prong at the very bottom. So index that to the bottom, push the cord all the way in and give it a quarter turn to the right. And then the black ring just secures the cord to the unit. And then you're hooked up for power. So this unit has a propane detector and it's down here. If the alarm goes off, obviously the first thing you want to do is get everybody safely out. Second thing you want to do is open up the windows and air the unit out. After you do that, come back in, double check that the trailer battery isn't low on charge because this unit is hardwired to that battery. And after that, you push this reset button for three to five seconds and reset the unit. The awning light, it sits underneath the awning. The second switch is for the porch light on the outside of the unit. The third switch is for the light that goes underneath the, the steps so it's you safe at night to walk in and the fourth switch is for all the lights above your head as you're inside the unit most of the windows in this unit have um, screens and crank out windows you just simply crank the knob until the window will open just make sure that before you move the unit you shut all the windows tight Never want to drive down the road with the windows open. It'll damage the screens. So in the emergency windows, it's a lever. You just push it towards the outside and up, pull it to center, and then push the window out. This unit also has a pull-down window shade. Simply just reach up, grab it, securely pull it down all the way, and it'll sit by itself. And then it's just reverse order. Again, you don't want to travel with this unit with the windows open. Definitely don't want to have the windows open and the shade down. Okay, what's different about this unit is there's three sets of speaker buttons. So A is the interior speakers, and you can turn them on and off. B is the outside speakers, so you can turn those on and off. And you can have both on at the same time or both off at the same time. C is non-functioning. Changes into a bed, and how you do that is you simply pull the tabletop up, there's a piece of Velcro on the back of it, you flip the table out of the way. What you're going to do is take the legs out of the posts on the floor and just set them down on the ground. And take the tabletop and you put it back into these channels. to make the platform. Then you take your cushions and you just place them so that you have a full full bed. Uh, smoke detector in this unit is just like your household smoke detector. So this unit also has an overhead air conditioning unit. The unit will function if the trailer is plugged into 110. Um, there, there's a couple different functions on it. You have the fan speed is on the dial here. And going to the right in the blue section is for the air conditioning. Going to the black section is just the fan blowing air. You also have a dial on the left side which controls your temperature. And it goes from cold to hot. Right now it's set in the cold section, and as you rotate it, you can turn it to hot. On this unit, there's also a lever to recycle, recirculate the air. So it just opens these valves to push the air back into itself, or you can keep that shut. And then in order to direct the air to the front of the trailer or the back, they have the doors that open up, and you just simply click them open, and they stay, and it'll blow the air out. You can also blow the air to the sides. Below the light switch is the uh, 
um, hot water heater switch. Um, it's very simple. Just turn it to the on position and it will um, indicate that it's going to be turning on here in a second. It's a small tank. It might be about a five to eight gallon tank. It takes about 15 minutes to heat up. And then just remember that you only have about five to eight gallons of water, hot water before it'll have to reheat. So all the outlets in this unit are hooked to one GFI. The GFI is underneath the bathroom sink. Um, if you have all the outlets that are not working, you might want to check that that didn't get tripped and then reset that GFI. So the main control panel for the unit is right here. It's in the front bedroom area of this trailer. Uh, the center button is a red pump button. Just simply push it and it will pressurize the from the fresh water tank and pressurize the whole entire system. Uh, it's simple on off switch. So to turn it off, you just turn it off. There's a set of switches down at the bottom. First one's marked battery. If you push it, it will tell you the condition of the trailer battery. If you push the second button, it will tell you the amount of fresh, so fresh water in the tank. The third button, listed gray, will tell you how much water is in the gray tank. The fourth button is black. It will tell you how much waste is inside the tank. Uh, only other thing I want to show you is if you push and hold one of the buttons, and when the green light flashes, it will hold uh, the indicator, which means that right now it's holding how much battery condition is in. In order to release that, to check anything else, you need to push and hold the battery again until that green light blinks. And then it will release it to neutral. Thermostat for the unit for the heat, pretty simple, just like your house has the actual temperature down here, what the unit is, and then it's a simple off switch is all the way to the left. Clicking over to the right, you can control the heat. And then turn it off, just turn it back all the way to the left. There's a storage compartment underneath the front bed. You just simply push pull up on the front of the mattress. Um, nice big storage area, just be cautious. This is the fresh water tank, so you don't want anything rubbing or um, cutting into that. Also, below this gray platform is the spare tire for the trailer. Okay. In order to get the awning, it's a power awning. It's that first button as you walk in the door. You just push it up to the extend. And as you push it up, the awning will start to power out. Um, only other thing we want to talk about when we talk about the awning being out. One, um, if it's windy, don't put the awning out. Um, a gust of wind will come and, and twist this thing. Um, secondly, you, you don't want to try to move the unit if the awning is out. You also don't want to have any kind of a heat source underneath the awning that could do damage to the awning. The uh, nice thing about the awning, this unit has speakers in it at the ends. So you can play some music on the outside. And it also has a light display up right at the trailer, which is that second button in. To get the audio to go back in, you just simply push that button again to the retract, and it will power the awning back up. So this unit has two propane tanks that are on the front no or on the front tongue, I should say. There's you typically a cover that goes over that. Um, the valves are typically shut, it's just like your gas grill, so turning it in is off, turning it out is on. There's a lever on the very front switch here, and basically if it's pointing at that tank, that is the tank that it's operating off of. If you need to switch to the other side tank, you just simply push the lever the opposite way, and it will start taking propane from the opposite tank. On the tongue jack, there's a switch for a light on the right side, which is an on and an off switch. And on the left side, we have a switch that has uh, retract and extend. The extend is to put the jack down to the ground. The retract button is pushed when you want to bring the jack off the ground. Just noting, you want to stop when the black tape hits the bottom of the black pipe. The freshwater tank is filled 
by unscrewing this cap, putting the garden hose into the hole, and when it's full, it will screw it out here. And then when you're done, you remove the hose and then just simply put the cap back on. If you are at a campsite that has city water hookup, you'd hook the, guard, the white hose up to where it's a city water connection, pop the cap off, screw your hose on, turn the pressure from the hose on, and that will pressurize the entire trailer so you do not have to use the water pump inside. So as far as dumping the tanks go, you have your sewage connection right down below and there's a black cap that attaches to it. You have the, the sewage water, so the black tank valve is on the right side down below. That's simply just a pull valve. And then you have the gray tank valve that's on the left side of the cap. The waste hose on this unit is stored in the front tongue of the trailer and you simply move this lever over, open it up, and the black hose, or I'm sorry, the waste hose comes out.